Hello everyone, in today's video I will review the best YT Decoy Elite First Ride Review, an electric mountain bike with a serious looking parts list and competitive price, jump to see item particulars, wearing gold illustrations and, surprisingly, more bling than last year's priciest bait. This new YT Distraction First Class Pack's most recent age Fox 38 and Float X2 suspension, as well as Crank Brothers absolutely stunt and profoundly evaluated carbon combination wheels, north of 6,000 is precisely modest. How However, the filter the parts and it's unmistakable this e-bike shakes all the top of the line by line units you'd expect from an immediate deal brand famous for astonishing worth. YT Decoy Elite Frame and Geometry The full carbon outline has a genuine 4-bar horse connect backside, giving 165mm of movement. Its tremendous down tube supports a custom 540WH battery, which controls a Shimano E8000 engine. YT hasn't yet changed to the lighter, all the more impressive EP8, slack and super firm. The dropping orientated distraction suspension isn't as long as some new enduro e-bikes, with the 450mm arrive at on the huge size being on the moderate side for a most recent age machine. YT Decoy Elite Kit Custom for the additional curving powers that weighty e-bikes apply, Fox's muscular new 38mm fork contains its refreshed GRIP2 damper, which is four-way flexible, with both low and rapid pressure and bounce-back tuning. The equivalent goes for the industrial facility level X2 shock. Join this with the capacity to change movement and spring rate by means of inward spacers, and the fake can convey mind-blowing suspension execution at the two closures. It's not difficult to get a decent working arrangement, yet takes impressive skill to dial in most extreme execution. Somewhere else, arranged parts incorporate a rental cockpit, 12-speed Shimano XT drivetrain and top-tier SRAM code brakes. The carbon blend wheels are explicitly tuned for front consistency and back solidness and cut into corners and slash about the path responsively. However, on a 20 kg plus e-bike it's difficult to detect gigantic advantages over a quality combination wheel set, so this may be a low influence region to set aside money in the event that you're conflicted between the first class model and a less expensive imitation. Crank Brothers carbon wheels are proven performers, but their benefits are less obvious on an e-bike. The Maxi's Asegai front tire has uncommon hold, however the hefty size, EXO Plus packaging flunky DHR2 at the back is excessively weak and furthermore has issues in UK mud and slop, where it feels floaty and needs chomp at hard lean points or under forceful slowing down. I traded it for a 2-4 in tire with a thicker packaging which emphatically further developed nimbleness, foothold and control. YT Decoy Elite First Ride Impressions With its 170mm travel fork and DH race tune dampers, it'd be not difficult to expect the imitation as an adhere to the floor hooligan crushing through everything in its way. Truth be told, with a depressed ride position that is not completely loosened up, it's exceptionally deft as EMTBs go and fit for as much jibbing and playing as a lot of other e-bikes with less weight and travel. The solid casing is liable for a portion of this responsiveness and the very much damped suspension, which is tunable for enough help to skip off and push against without reducing any serenity and not gulping perfection, is the other. This tight feel guarantees the YT never feels bulky and makes it an extraordinary climber as well, particularly when the seat and wrenches feel like they're generally in the ideal position. The Fox 38 fork and X2 shock are super adjustable, good news for fettlers. Mick Kirkman, Immediate Media, last year's survey of a less expensive bait with DPX2 shock referenced that the flip side of this rigidity was less solace over successes and root networks. Yet this is a non-issue here, as the most recent X2 guzzles square edges for breakfast and is graceful and delicate whether crawling down risky nerd soaks or bulldozing high-velocity, rock-flung Lakeland cutback streets particularly with a smaller back tire fitted. The more modest 650B back wheel cuts tight bends through corners so you can truly hurl the distraction about. One slight negative of the gigantic hold at all lean points is that the back hub loosened up incidentally under enormous torsional powers. Since this is not difficult to check and probably a result of the firm body, I'll take how strong and responsive the imitation feels while riding hard as fair remuneration. The decoy is one mean looking machine in top spec elite trim and its ride lives up to its looks. McCur Kirkman, Immediate Media. It's not the longest or slackest apparatus, but rather the YT has a phenomenal ride quality and enough downhill capacity that you can go as quick as conceivable on the plummets assuming that you have the nerve. Add the way that it fondles exuberant eating bendy single track, and a splendid all-rounder makes you has a real sense of reassurance and certain going after any degree of territory. YT Decoy Elite Early Verdict. One of the most incredible e-bikes I've ridden, with a close wonderful parts bundle just polluted by the back tire. Pros, perfectly balanced ride, feels so close to a downhill bike but is more responsive than you'd imagine. Beautifully finished.
Cons. Needs a tougher, more aggressive rear tire. Care is required if jet washing. When's the new EP8 motor version coming?